Hello, my name is Alexander, and we are here for high time for a story, because boy is it high time for a story. And today we're doing The Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. And I'm all festive, I'm in the spirit, how about you? It was the night before Christmas, and Ebenezer Scrooge was just a sour guy, he hated Christmas, humbug. And he's working in a shop one day, the day before Christmas, and his nephew Fred comes in, tells him about how, hey, Uncle Scrooge, I'm gonna have a big party and you should come. You'll see family, people like you. Although they don't. And Scrooge said, bah humbug, which is just what he says to everything. Bah humbug, bah humbug. So, done with Fred. His man working for him, Bob, said that, or well, he's happy. He's got his little son, Tiny Tim, comes in. Scrooge, this is Tiny Tim. Sickly little boy. He looks like shit. Wow, said Bob. At one point or another, Scrooge is a dick. And then they had run off in their way. Scrooge gets home. And he sees, I'm a door knocker, his old friend Marley. Marley was Scrooge's partner and died seven years ago. That day, Scrooge gets in and he keeps seeing Marley's face everywhere. And he hears chains dragging on the floor, which he knows are a sign for the ghost plaguing his place. And he thinks he's going to see a spirit. And then Marley appears, looks just like he did before but he had a bandage wrapped around his head. Scrooge saw that Marley was dragging chains and attached to these chains were money boxes, keys, cash boxes, saves. <coughs> saves. Scrooge asked him, why do you have this on you? And Marley told him that this was punishment for all of his sins and that he had been walking the earth for seven years and dude, I am too high to do this. If you do not change your ways, you will have the same fate as me. I am here, I, Marley, am here to save you, Scrooge, from the same fate and make you a better man because, like, damn, you're a dick. To share with your money. And Scrooge said, well, I don't want to have that fate with you, so yes, please tell me how I can change. Marley told him that tonight, through Christmas night, that he will be visited by three ghosts. Three ghosts. And they will come, and he will learn a lesson. He warned him that the first two ghosts will come when the clock strikes one. The third will come at the last stroke of midnight. Scrooge said, this is stupid. It's two o'clock. No, I'm going to bed. And he went to bed. And he woke up at midnight, which he thought was really weird. He said, or he thought to himself, how did that happen? Did I sleep through a whole day? It was two when I went to bed and now it's midnight. I don't know. Maybe I was tired. And that's a whole day of business gone. Shit. And then he waited till one and he hears a soft voice, soft skin and everything. Beautiful spirit. <laughs> yeah. Walks up, and this is the voice, or wow, the spirit. I am the spirit of Christmas past, and what has been. And Scrooge is like, wow, that's cool. And she says, come fly with me. And he says, I can't fly. And she touches his heart, and they flew. It was beautiful. <clears throat> So, what happened? And, ooh, what did happen? <clears throat> you okay? I'm okay. You want a bomb rip, dude? I might. About as heavy as you. <laughs> How can you hear light? He sees this beautiful ray of sunshine just wash out his whole room and he stumbles into another room. And there he sees this giant feast set up by like a 
big bearded guy in a big old green robe was Moses and Moses was like hey you gotta get out of here but here's some candles and some candle oil and wax make it last a while it last it was like three days worth and it was eight nights it was the miracle of the spirit of Hanukkah that was like really cool so Moses came to him that was in the Christmas Carol <sighs> oh shit um, it was Christmas present. Looks like Hagrid. Moses. Yeah. Christmas Carol. Pfft. Subways are weird. <laughs>